Right now, Market Basket customers, customers are holding a big rally. They're showing support for workers who walked off the job a month ago, demanding the return of their fired CEO. Let's get right to Paul Burton, who is working this story live in Tewksbury. Paul. Katie, I tell you, it's another rally cry for Market Basket employees. This time, the customers are standing shoulder to shoulder with employees who walked off the job about a month ago. There's a huge ring around this parking lot here in Tewksbury full of protesters and customers who are boycotting. These customers say they will not shop here until ousted CEO RDT Demoulis returns. Horns blaring, customers standing firm. They say they will not spend a dime in Market Basket until things go back to the way they were. No, I, no way am I going in. You kidding me? These people, they work so hard. They put in more hours than anybody even knows. And, you know, it's just not fair. I haven't shopped here since the day they let RDT go. And I've pl placed my receipts from Hannaford's and Stop and Shop on their walls. It's costing me about 20%, 30% more, but I'll deal with it. Today, there were a few customers who ignored the rally and decided to cross the picket lines to shop. Oh, I understand her point, but I, my point is I got four kids and I have to do what I have to do. The company's current CEO told employees to return to work on Friday or they would be fired, but still hundreds of employees ignored that order and continue to protest, this time with the customers they serve by their side. Been with these employees from day one. I'm backing them up 100%, and I the team need to come back. Nope. nope. We will not go in until ATD is back. And where have you been shopping since then? Uh, we've been shopping at Shots, McKinnon's, Hannaford's. The rally is well underway. Some people are saying, you won't see me until you bring back RDT. Others are saying, keep calm and boycott on. They are determined not to give up. We're live in Tewksbury tonight. I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News. Katie, back to you. And it continues. Thanks so much, Paul. And also about Market Basket, the showdown at the grocery store took an ugly turn in Tewksbury yesterday. Police arrested a replacement truck driver after they say he confronted protesters at a picket line with a hammer. Ira Forbes has been fired. He faces several charges, including assault. He will be arraigned on Monday.